Music is really, really, really difficult to produce. Anyone can have a specific sound they wish to get out of their head. It's developing how to get to and from that sound that truly matters. Any random mutt can suddenly be stricken with insanity driving levels of inspiration and type out a several page script on why they love table tennis metronome sim. However, partway through managing this video on the awesomeness of tennis, they realize, wow. For some reason, this is boring. Every single editor has at least one sound engineer to thank for making everything sound nice and legible in their videos, be it some person they pay on the side, a friend they met in their travels, or even just themselves still actively trying to figure this crap out like me. Audio engineering brings life to a video project. It's an objective fact. Who's gonna listen to my overview of the furry roguelite if I don't have sick music playing in the background and call it an oh overview for the memes? Nobody, that's who. Without a musical score, the essence of a video gets boiled down to the actions on screen and no oomph that life has us very used to nowadays. This is why there are many, many beat makers, freeware sound engines, non-copyright YouTube channels, free beat SoundCloud artists, cheap fiber artists that actually sound better than the SoundCloud ones, the list goes on, TBH. There are so many freaking ways to dip your paws into audio engineering. I'm surprised there wasn't a Flash game whose sole purpose was literally just to play around in a beat maker and let you produce background tracks. Little backstory, apparently three French friends from saint Antien sounds like a song name, wanted to challenge themselves in 06 and pull their skills together. These were developer Alan Durand, graphic designer Romain Delimbly, Delamboli, Delamboli, and musician and composer Paul Incredible Polo Mulberry, who wanted to make an interactive musical experience meant to enrich whomever plays it. This led to the creation of a production studio, a near endless torrent of free music, and what I came to talk about today. Why do none of these humans have shirts? Incredibox is a web browser game from the far off year of 2009. I think I was unconscious for about six years now. Created by French game companies so far so good, the sole purpose of this project was to introduce kids and the musically curious to a fun way of making music and using it to express yourselves in more ways than one. Seeing as I was at the ripe age for imprinting any and all form of skills and I just started to abandon baseball at the behest of Bat Dad. When my little brother discovered this app during our EMP class years, I was enthralled by its versatility. Sure, it's just a bunch of the same guy beatboxing their little heart out, but the sounds and music videos you can produce from this thing beg to be talked about by this point. These guys released an album of personal remasters on each engine back when there were only seven of them, released a mobile app, made another album housing nine new personally mixed tracks, and optimized their site for teachers to use the program in schools across the globe. And all this time, they kept adding new sound engines. Seriously, there are nine. Nine different iterations of this app, each with enough content in each version update nowadays to be locked behind several purchases of the same app multiple times on the same platform or multiple if you're a sales hunter like me. It's kind of branched into the very reason why I made this channel. I'm gonna keep it a buck 75 because inflation sucks and I can't play an instrument anymore. This may be a hidden bit of the YouTube starter kit. The demo version of Incredibox is free for use on any HTML browser now. It allows for creation on the first four iterations of the app, Alpha, Little Miss, Sunrise, and The Love. However, five on it and a quick download on Steam, Google Play, and or the App Store gives you access to every iteration of the app to date of writing and possibly editing. This opens up your access to nine different kits to play with, all of which have their own themes to their beats and outfits. Before we get into each version of the app, let's show how to work them because that pretty much never changes. Well, except in one condition, but that's not this video. Upon loading up, you're presented with seven people who have quite a bit to share, but no shirt to wear. Below them will be a series of 20 symbols, all separated by shape, style, and or color. These categories are your four sections of instruments, percussion, effects, and vocals. Dragging a button to one of your half nude dudes will dress them in a fit and make them sing a constant. Adding these dudes together in specific combinations will trigger bonus movies that have additive lyrics 
breaks and instrumental combos that you, the player, can't make via click drag. Almost every iteration has three bonus movies to watch, which can be swapped in and out during a set, and the entire mix is always being quantized, so mess ups and mistaps become more improv moments to be honest. Tapping on a dude causes them to stop singing, while holding them makes them sing so well. Using your fingers to individually tap certain dudes causes the non-tapped to shush, and silencing all the tappies makes the group commence singing in full again. Swiping down on them makes them lose their fit and clam up. You can hit this menu here to record a set, or even let RNG sus take a spin while you go do other stuff. Alright, that's how to play mix. Let's talk versions. Each version has a different aesthetic and sound they go for, making one sound super unique to any listener. The bonus movie is not only adding a much needed punch to any mix, but some telling a story while keeping with the audio theme. Alpha Incredibox, which was renamed from just Incredibox, is bare bones and just sounds like a bunch of dudes performing a rather well choreographed acapella with so much soul in it, it distracts from the fact that they all just have a black t-shirt on with a weird symbol on it. The soul these dudes just spitting on the track track is even reflected in the tale told in the bonuses. Little Miss Incredibox has quickly become one of my favorite iterations because of its emphasis on bass and melody. The fashion sense of here reflecting the OG rap scene, adding in low brims, popped collars, and even fedoras. J -j Jazz fedoras. Not, not the bump in percussion with new vocals, accents, and better flow to the bonuses. Bonus movies reflecting the flourish of a jazz or rap video with a great message hidden within. Incredibox Sunrise is so much fun to mess around in, I feel like the devs thought it a crime to make people pay for it. The sound, focusing on this lively beat that makes you want to get out of your seat and dance. This iteration also raises the production budget a bit, as there are more accents, sounds, and there's freaking color now! The movie showing this new world of color and accent that the devs just wanted to show with the people. Pairing monochromic imagery with colorful contrasting, reflecting this new freedom of creation. Incredibox The Love has this funky, vibey tone to it that even I can't help but hit my little shimmy to if I'm messing around in. Beats here focus on bumping electronic dance music, making you the closest you'll ever be to a real party DJ, you daft punk. Everything here sounds like if you took the electro styles of Big Data, Chromio, Fatboy Slim, and other artists like them, and dumped their collective libraries into a genius mixer. Bass and melody combine together to make you want to dance in your seat or just straight up jump out of it. Now these are just the freeware versions, TBH, and uh, they slap. Just one of these kits is a near perfect mix of drum, bass, synths, melody, and harmonization. But remember, we're still not done yet. Let's go to Brazil. Welcome to the 499 Club, where the bills are broken and we got five on it. These kits are gonna come with a bit more theming to their sounds. The mobile app was just released and now we're getting that more of the experimental sound. And the pads of our paws. Brazil sounds like if you took the energy of the place as it's in mid carnival preparations. The melodies and harmonies blend so well with everything else. I was convinced some vocals were instruments back when I first heard of what I could do with it. The movie's adding a much loved splash of vocal detail and instrumental flourish. I just wish they were wrong. Alive has this amazing slow, bassy, digital tone to its entire kit. With a nice splash of color added to each of the fits you can make music with. The bass focus is contrasted by vocals and effects that honestly breathe the new life into this version. See what I did there? Bonus movies have this tone of freedom and not letting others dictate how you make your sound, let alone how it's heard. Jivan rockets us into the Middle East with a heavy focus on vocals and harmonization. These fits also reflect that of Indian culture and mysticism, including any touches to how the beatboxing can be affected. This one is literally named after a famous Indian actor, so the bonus movies reflect the tone of his films while keeping with the theme of celebration. Honestly, with this kit, we could go from having something that has an insane amount of speed and BPM to just having this nice, harmonistic, soulful song just playing in the background. This is my number three favorite, by the way. Dystopia actually has a hilarious story tied to it from yours truly. Mm. 
So I use this app while at work as a background music app and apparently to my boss, this sounds like sacrifice music, which is crazy because I made this. by searching for copyright free creepy possessed choir on YouTube. Why is that relevant? Dystopia reflects its namesake with a rap trap beat focus accented by the robocalypse era of fashion that's adorned by all the beatboxers. Deep and crunchy bass is met with clippy, hard hitting beat syncopation accented with eerie space aged vocals. The bonus movies in this one actually telling the story of sacrifice on the Incredibox YouTube channel adding a crazy mix of vocals, bass, and harmony to excel any mix they're used in. We could ease the main reason I started writing the script before I found out nobody has made an overview of this app. I feel like I've been here before. Being the newest kid on the block, only released April 29th, 2023, the sound has punchy low bass combined with rap vocals, chip tune, drum kits, harmony, accents, effects. This version is literally taking any of the best parts of the previous versions and adds a 2023 coat of paint onto them, combining the aspects of rap, trap, psychopop, hyperfunk, and soul to create this masterpiece that honestly deserves its namesake. Wickedy is a wordplay on the word wicked, and I heavily agree to this. Listen to, li listen, ju just listen for a second. Which is why it saddens me that this one only has one incredibly short bonus movie. It's nearly a crime on concept, but the movie itself is like a musical cheat code. It was made to be spammed in a mix at least two to three times. Almost like a musical break. I browse a live channel on this app because I like using others beats and background jams. But also because, you know, some of the people at work think that some of the stuff sounds cool. The creator's creations kind of agree with me on the universality of this one little movie. With how much of a remix on what worked this one is, I can see the devs possibly adding in at least one other movie to utilize the rap vocals they played around with in the first one. By the way, each version that I talked about, I was actively playing a mix that I personally made and had saved in my files. That or it came from the massive mix that I just had for the footage of this video. So uh, take this as the first easter egg of the channel. I intend to use this thing to fill in dead air in all of my stuff whenever I can thematically put it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I even posted a song to this channel just to see if the app registers in the copyright system. No, it doesn't. However, this opened me up to the modding scene that exists for this thing, which holy crap, bangs. Thanks for watching and listening. I made this because I was effectively using the game to remain sane while at work. Sure, I got compliments and stuff because I just said, oh yeah, I made this. So they were like, oh hey, it sounds good. But this app honestly deserves your attention, truly. Like this video, share it with other budding beat producers, and do yourself a favor, head to Incredibox.com, like right now. This is, I'm not asking. Head to Incredibox.com right now and make yourself a mix. Export it. Send it to your phone if you can. Po Freaking post it to your YouTube channel. Put it on your SoundCloud. I don't care. Make it. Put it into the world. Just like I don't. I don't know. Just post it on the. Just post it on the app. I don't care. Everybody does it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Make a mix. Now, until whenever I post next, while well, rare, you get the errant sound producer that doesn't fully grasp just how important they really are. And I just want to take that person to the side real quick, grab you by both of your shoulders, and say. Look at what I need to mirror but a fraction of your power. Be appreciated, hon.